Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, Steve from Voss Taylors. We're going to do the uh, a walkthrough of the interior of the Nelio O Series 04. We already done the outside, so the video is somewhere around. Uh, you can probably dig it up on YouTube if you haven't seen it and you want to take a look at the outside of that trailer. But we're going in right now. I figure we'll start outside. I'm just going to show you the door. There is two locks. Uh, every trailer will come with a set of keys, but the same key works on both. So this is actually the handle itself. That locks will lock the handle from opening. And this one is a deadbolt that's going to come out. Attached to your door is a screen door. So there's a handle on each side, different models in the industry, but the Helio uses this one in particular. And your door also comes with a tie down that you can leave the door open, tied in place. So the beauty with this particular screen door is there's a handle on each side. You don't need to slide that little panel every time. Okay, that locks in place to the door right through here. Perfect, let's go in. This particular trailer was equipped with the third window, a propane furnace, and the optional counter. We like the counter because it gives you all the storage. Now, every uh, handles in the uh, Elios, they use this press button, and it's a little bit like in the marine industry. It keeps the door locks. Very nice. You gotta push it out in order to open the door. As you can see, there is lots of storage. Now, it's a good time to remind everyone, 04 does not have a fresh water tank, doesn't have a gray tank, doesn't have a black tank, doesn't even have a tap. There's a sink, and that drains outside, like the old 10 trailers. Other than that, there's a spot for maybe a couple bins, and there's a portable toilet. We'll come back to the toilet afterwards. Uh, the liner here, if you're going to be cooking or making a mess, you may want to protect that. Some, some customers, they put a piece of clear PVC or whatever it is. So if you stain it with spaghetti sauce, it's gonna be hard to get the stain out. You gotta think that and, and keep that in mind. LED light, there's two intensity. So you click once and then second. I forgot to check, but I think your battery is not connected. There's another power outlet here with a GFI, very nice. They actually went through the trouble of putting two GFI in this trailer. So I was lying on my video outside. This one will probably be connected to every outlet on the inside. And there's your thermostat for your furnace. Very simple. There's a little lever on the bottom, lower to higher, and there's a little on and off button right here. It's a little hard to move, so you got to be careful. If you move it to the left, it's on. If you move it to the right, it's off. Exactly. It says right on it, off. On, off. And then you choose your temperature, and it will actually keep the temperature going um, the whole night. So it'll turn on and off, just keep that temperature. It's actually a thermostat as well. Okay, windows, be gentle. Those handle tends to break. Uh, these ones are made out of metal. We can get replacement for them, but you just push it out and it locks in place. Now the screen, it's very, very tight, but we're talking about an RV here. Some screens at home are even worse than this. So we're talking about an RV. We find I find the screen to be pretty good. They're held by a lot of little clips. So sometimes you take it out, sometimes you can squeeze a clip to give it a little more uh, grip to the frame. Those, uh, this one right here, that little red handle, that's designed to pull the screen right out in case of an emergency because the whole window will flip up. You can actually jump through the window. In fact, all the windows on Helios are like that. They're all emergency windows. Not required, they're re required to put one in, but to keep things simple, they use the same window. Don't forget, to close it when you are traveling. The window is just gonna swing. You're gonna get yourself into trouble. Okay, table, pretty straightforward. There is, there is a bottom on the foot right here. And that is to release the top of the table. So once you push the button, you can kind of wiggle the table top off. And the pole, there's a little button right here on the floor. By pressing this, you can unscrew the pole from the floor. So you do that twice or once if you want. You can put this table down and sleep sideways, or you can put both table down and sleep lengthwise. Now this table goes and sit in between. And there's two little plastic pieces underneath that's gonna lock it in place. And you use the other cushion 
to fill in in between. And they are tight, folks. Yeah, you're, you're going to fight with it a little bit. But the good news is you're not going to fall in the in the crack between the cushion. And what I really like is that Elio also add an extra uh, backing to their cushions. So yeah, you can make yourself a bed sideways or a bed lengthwise. Another light, same scenario, uh, two intensity. You press it once, it's gonna go on full. Press it again, it's gonna go on halfway and off. Our furnace is right underneath. You don't have to worry about a thing. Everything is controlled through the thermostat, okay? As long as you got battery and propane, the thing's gonna go. When you turn it off, it's still gonna go for two minutes. The flame's gonna stop, but the fan's gonna force the air out for about two minutes after you turn it off. We have a USB outlet and a cigarette lighter. So this would be most likely designed for your expensive cooler, the one that runs on 12 volts, uh, the cigarette lighter one, okay? This is not gonna push enough amperage for, for a cooler, but this one will, okay? Right here we have a battery disconnect. When it's in the green, we got power, so my battery is connected. When it's in the red, the battery is disconnected. You can see just by switching into the green, power is applied to the trailer. Now we do have our lights, full, half, off. And we also have our fan. Now our fan, you gotta crank up the lid. You don't really have to, you can actually use it with the lid closed, but it's better if you open it up. And then you got plus and minus, you got an on and off button. You got an in and out setting, and you got an automatic at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we start it, and right now it's probably pulling the air out. Let's say we want it to push the air in. We will just hit the different direction button. And if that's not enough, you got five speed. The beauty with this fan, and it's kind of nice right now, it does, it does run on 12 volts. So you don't need to be plugged into shore power. However, folks, 12 volts mean it will deplete your battery. And when your battery gets depleted to a certain point, you won't be able to use the lights. And this little device on the floor right here by the door is gonna start beeping. That's a carbon monoxide clean propane detector. When it beeps, it either means that the device needs to be replaced after it has its lifetime or that your battery is low. It is probably the number one complaint on Elio Group Facebook pages. Uh, this thing keeps beeping, I don't know why. Well, your battery is low. So uh, people are disconnecting it, which I would not advise to do. Just make sure you keep your battery full. And by doing so, plug the trailer when you arrive at home into short power. The converter will take care of charging your battery. And then make sure that the seventh wire on your plug in the back of the vehicle is connected to the battery. That way, when you're traveling, it's also charging your battery. However, in both cases, especially when you're connected to the car, the wire, the seventh wire is not very big. It's only pushing about two amps. So if your battery is very low, it would take three, four days of driving before it charges your battery full. And same thing with the converter. The converter knows how much power to push to the battery it will start with a pretty good charge, but it's not going to be 15 amps. And it's going to slow down as the battery gets full. So it does take a couple days, even sometime a little bit more, to get your battery fully charged. Folks, uh, I think this is it. There is nothing else in an 04 except for the toilet. Oh, by the way, they're providing you with a curtain. Each customer, we don't install them for the customer. The reason why is because a lot of our customers, they actually make modification to it. It comes with Velcro. As you can see, Velcro for the bottom and Velcro at the top. Uh, looking at the pictures and looking at the trailer that comes back for, you know, brakes and bearings work, the curtains always uh, seems to be a little nicer than just the blackout one that Helio is giving. So I know a lot of people are excited about decorating their trailer, you know, to their taste. Uh, I'm going to suggest Helio Facebook page for uh, the various ideas uh, for... Uh, for modifying your trailer, you know, and there's a lot of good ideas there. But uh, last thing, but not the least, will be we'll talk about the toilet. This is a portable toilet. This is a pump to pump the water through the toilet. And this is where you add your water and chemicals. Now, chemicals, you read the instruction, 
they're designed for a full-size RV. They want you to add an ounce or two for a 30-gallon tank. Well, this is two gallons. So there's not a lot of water in here, so it would be like a spoonful. They only need a little bit to kill the smell. And uh, it works very well. And it's perfect. They're designed for, you know, emergency. I mean, I don't think, I think anything will beat the gas station washrooms. Uh, the handle here is to open it up. As you can see, there's a there's a valve in between, and it uh, opens it up to fall on the bottom. And when it's time to empty it, keep the valve closed. Open up the handles here on each side. Top comes up, and you're left with the poopy tank valve closed. And this is where you're gonna dump it. The beauty of it is that you can go into any kind of uh, washrooms, and then you can dump it right in the toilet. So it's not very big. It'll get you going for a day or two, but that's about it. It's good for a night. There we go. And they have a little spot right here for it. And there's a little, a little uh, piece of metal there that prevents it from slipping right out. So, folks, I think we're done the tour of the 04 on the interior. Pretty sweet little trailer. One of her best seller in the LEO series. It was extremely popular before COVID with tenters. It's becoming again extremely popular with people that like to rough it up a little bit but wants to sleep in a dry spot. And it gives you plenty of storage to bring all your gear. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please uh, give us a call. We're located here in Ottawa, Ontario, and uh, we always have some in stock. Thanks for watching.